Hey everybody, it's Alexis with Create Your Future and happy Monday. I am here with a brand new video and some tips today about manifesting. And today let's talk about hot and cold behavior, how to turn your situation around with your specific person once and for all, and how to stay on track with your manifestation and your relationship once you have it. Okay, before I get started, like always, um, check the box below for booking links with me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, hypnosis, and everything else, okay? Um, I have a fan on and I have the AC on today in my office. It's, if I look windblown, it's coming from this side, okay? So um, I think this is a really fun topic to talk about because I have so many clients currently and most of the time who are manifesting a specific person in their reality that has hot and cold behavior or who they manifest back and then they go away or they get a little bit of movement and then things revert back to how they were before or there's just like a difficulty with staying on track with what they want with the manifestation because the person seems to be kind of morphing into what they want what they don't want they're hot then they're cold they're in then they're out they want a relationship then they're disappearing they're um calling texting then ghosting Okay, so let's talk about ghosting. I just brought it up. Uh, the term ghosting, and for this for this video, I am going to be using a lot of 3D terminology about relationships, okay? Just as a disclaimer, I'm not saying that you should call your situation that, but there are things that we often hear and a way that we can use to specify patterns that we see with people and then how to get around it, okay? Because you can't. A thousand percent possible. I have gone back to saying things are a thousand percent possible because why not? Um, scientifically, things are a hundred out of a hundred, right? But like, let's go for a thousand. Let's have some fun. Okay. So if your SP is coming in, coming out, they're hot and cold. They're um, um, communicating, then not communicating. They're doing things for you, then stopping. They're saying one thing, then doing another. It's because of you. Like it or not like it, the basics of our reality are that what you're holding on to, what you're thinking, and the patterns and the thoughts that you consistently, continually identify and think about and hold and feel into and embody and be, that's what plays out in your outer reality. So like as an example, um, I have like a handful of clients right now and a client I talked to last week who she said that she gets movement, things change, he's coming back, he's showing up, he's acting differently, then he reverts to it before. And she also says, then it goes back to the way that it's always been. So I asked her, I said, okay, so when he's, when he's acting a certain way, doing a certain thing, are you fearful? That it's going to go back to the way that it was before? Are we thinking, oh, this, when is this going to stop? When's it going to go back to before? Um, ideally, like, we're is essentially saying, when is the shoe going to drop, right? When is it, when is it going to leave? When are they going to leave? When are they going to stop calling? When are they going to stop showing up? When are they going to get, when are they going to get cold? When is all these things, right? So if you're someone that has this situation, I want to also talk about living in the end of two places. Either most people are living in the end of abandonment or rejection. Okay, so if you're afraid of someone leaving, therefore you're living in the end of abandonment or living in the end of being left, living in the end of being alone, living in the end of having to do life on your own, having to be independent. You can't rely, you can't trust, all those things. If you're living in the end of rejection, then you, you essentially feel like the person doesn't like you, you're not good enough, um, you're not wanted, you're not heard, you're not seen, you're not chosen, okay? Oh, and I wanna point out too, this is a good example. This client was doing a lot of affirmations that she had seen on YouTube, she had seen on manifestation videos, okay? And she had never talked to anybody about her actual situation. And I said, okay, so what are you thinking? What are you affirming, right? So what she was doing is that he was coming in, he was changing, he was texting, and she was thinking, he's choosing me, he loves me, I am loved, I am adored, I am wanted, okay? And I said, okay, great. So you grab those affirmations offline, right? I said, okay, so... What are you thinking outside of that though? Like, what are you really deciding is happening? How are you deciding and how are you thinking this is going? Are you consistently, continually perpetuating and living in a state of fear that he's going to leave? And she said, well, well, yeah, but I didn't think it mattered 
because I was doing my mental diet and doing robotic kind of, affir um, of affirmations and thinking a bunch of things. And I said, okay, but your reality is a mirror replication of you. Your reality out there is a replication of what you're holding dominantly within you. So if we're dominantly fearful, if we're dominantly afraid of when is the shoe going to drop, if we're dominantly thinking someone is going to end up leaving because everybody else is left and everybody else always leaves, then that's what happens. And I've said this um, to a lot of people and I've said it in a lot of my videos, like it or not like it, this is the way reality is created. This is the fabric of what you see outside of you, okay? So I said, okay, we've got to start thinking, releasing the fear, releasing and letting go of the fear. And she said, okay, well, the fear's always been there. And I said, well, since when, right? We did a little bit of digging and we identified it's been there since age, X, Y, and Z. I said, okay, but we have to decide and we have to get used to thinking that the fear has left, which essentially, if you are holding on to an abandonment story or rejection story and it's perpetuated by fear, you want to start telling the fear it's no longer within you. Essentially saying the fear was a thing of the past. I am moving forwards and all is well because I am creating my experience and I am going to persist and I'm going to perpetuate the ideology and the thoughts and the reality that life is here for me. People show up for me. I am getting support. I am feeling love. I am seeing love. People love being around me. I have so much fun. I have so many exciting moments. Do you see how that's the opposite story of abandonment? Okay. So this really helped her. And I said, so yes, if we can do that along with thinking, I am chosen. He loves me. He wants me. He's always here for me. He's always calling me. He loves doing things for me. He loves doing things for me. He loves doing things for me. I said, that is your game changer because we can't be doing both. You're living in a dual belief system or a dual reality, or you're having opposing dual thoughts. If you're thinking, he loves me, he chooses me, he wants me, but you're also having this underlying sense and feeling of worry, dread, and fear. So again, the way that we address, like I had heard you, and you can do this too, easily, effortlessly, right now, you guys, is the interesting thing about it, is that you don't need to spend years and months and days rectifying the fear, letting the fear go, talking to the fear. What we do want to do, understand is where does the fear come from? How do we associate to ourselves with having the fear of the future, fear of moving forward, fear of abandonment, fear of rejection? Um, rejection and abandonment are a little bit different, but today we're focusing, I guess, more on abandonment. That's what I'm being called to do. I didn't really know what this video was going to be about, but let's hone in on the abandonment thing because most of us have that from somewhere, okay? Um, so we, we, we rectify the feeling of abandonment by choosing ourselves in the moment and by saying, I am loved, I am adored because I adore and I love and I accept myself. I unconditionally are here for me, okay, along with everything else that you're doing. Now, consciously manifesting and consciously creating, it's not like it takes a lot of work or it's not like it's a big job, but you do want to do all of these things in tandem because when you are fearful and when you're projecting out, um, they're going to leave. That's when they show up with hot and cold behavior. That's when they end up ghosting after a lot of communication. That's where it looks like they can't be trusted. That's where it looks like things aren't working. But you guys remember, remember today, remember on this Monday and all the people that watch it after that your reality is an illusion. Your reality is available and it's up for the challenge to be changed. It is easily, it can be effortlessly maneuvered into these things. I have had so many clients who have just adopted this idea and then things begin to change, right? So remember the other thing, if the behavior goes backwards and forwards and north and south and east and west and all around the mulberry bush, it is also because it's your old thoughts, it's the old story purging out, playing out in your reality, which means that we don't want to have thought reaction to it, okay? Now, what I can hear in the uh, people have said to me in the recent past and in the past in general is, that, is this, I'm not reacting, I'm not saying anything, I'm not calling them, I'm not chasing them, I'm not pursuing them, I'm not doing anything, Alexis, I promise I am not, okay? Now, if you want to be pursued in your relationship, we want to be living in the end of being pursued, of being loved, of being adored, being cherished, you are that, you own that, that is who you are, okay? But... The thing is, guys, it doesn't mean that you can't reach out and send someone a text message and touch base from the place of, hey, haven't talked to you. Are you okay? What's going on over there? Knock, knock, okay? Because we tend to live in the end of rejection when we're thinking they have to do everything. They have to put in the work. 
I have to see it happening. I have to be pursued. They have to reach out to me. Okay. You got to kind of do this all at one time because listen, in the reality where you are adored, you are pursued, you are loved, you are cherished, you are treasured, and you are the prize, you're comfortable to be yourself. You're comfortable and safe and secure within you to take action and um, communicate with someone from the place of, I want to do this. I feel empowered to do so. What's going on with you? Just getting more information, just checking in, not a big deal. Not going into chase or pursuit sense of lack. Do you see what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments if you've tried this or like this is an issue for a lot of my clients at some point in my journey. It was an issue for myself, but we want to know that you can rise above it. You can create above it because it's your reality. You can create anything that you choose. And this is something that almost everybody I talk to, I, I talk to wants is to be pursued, is to be adored, is to be cherished, is to be chosen, is to feel like that the other person thinks that they're just so amazing. And that's how we do this. Okay. You can't concurrently live in the end of abandonment or rejection and be doing a bunch of affirmations that they love me. They love me. They choose me without rectifying that major dominant assumption, the major, 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 major dominant belief system within you. Okay. And this goes for anything, right? If you are doing a mental diet and you're focusing on thinking new thoughts about any topic, but you have like this underlying inkling, um, it can be a sense of fear. It can be hurt that hasn't been resolved. It can be resentment. It can be just a whole slew of negative emotions by running from the emotions and running from yourself. You're not going to get to where you want to be. It's through feeling into them, letting them pass and realizing that, I label things as abandonment. I label things as rejection. I no longer am someone who abandons myself. I am no longer someone that self-rejects because that's all that we're really doing. We're taking their story that they've said out here and turning it into an abandonment story in here. We're taking the story that they've said out here and turning it into a rejection story in here. And you just want to say, like, simply, you guys, nothing anymore ever means rejection. Nothing anymore ever means abandonment. That's a big pill for most of us to swallow. Like thinking that you're no longer going to be thinking thoughts of, oh, I'm not being chosen or they're leaving, they're going to leave. It's like, oh no, I am the beautiful, wonderful creator of my relationship. I am the beautiful, wonderful creator of my reality so therefore, I'm choosing to believe and to think that everyone shows up for me. Everyone loves me. I am adored and I am seen. I am heard like I'm wanted. People want me to be around. People want to be in my essence. People love my energy. They love being around me. They love the electricity and the magnetism that I bring everywhere with me. Okay. So like bottom line is, if this is something you're facing, um, hot and cold behavior, ghosting, they're coming in, they're coming out. It has to do with you because you begin thinking that they're going to leave, right? And we have to turn it around to my new normal, my new experience, my experience with him, my experience with them, my experience with her is that they stay, they want to stay. They love making me happy. They want to do things for me. They like doing things for me. We have that beautiful, connected intimate, trustworthy relationship. I can be myself. They love it. We're having so much fun. We're having so much fun. We're having so much fun, We're having so much fun because this is fun. This is the game of life. This is how I do this, right? Because it is a game. It's a game based on thought. Your thoughts create you. They push out into your reality. As a friendly reminder, like I've said, um, scientifically, you have a reticular activating system. It's located at the back, the base of your brain. You can look it up particular activating system or known as the RAS system. Thoughts that you think go to the back of your brain, they go to two places, to your subconscious, where you begin to, to form dominant beliefs, dominant assumptions, and they go out into your reality. So the moment that you begin thinking, I have released the fear, I am moving forwards, I have love and light and support all around me, your reality and all the people begin to hear and they begin to show up that way, okay? So experiment with this, see what happens. I remember that the first time that I really honed in on this and did this, it was like everywhere that I went, people were really drawn to me, almost like, like magnetized, like my neighbors, people at the grocery store, SP, 
everybody was like, hey, Alexis, how are you? Hey, so um, I heard that you're a coach. Like, what do you do for a living? Can you like help me out? Because I have this situation. Like it was a little bit bonkers, okay? Which was a good um, a good lesson in me for, um, I don't know, in, uh, in my mind, creating boundaries with like what I do, you know, because I love helping people and my clients, but it was like uncanny, you guys, okay? And I will share with you that I, Alexis, had a more of an abandonment story than a rejection story um, that was created from a long, 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 long time ago. I love my parents. They did the best that they could. And, and I'm here, right? I'm here thriving. Um, successful, I'm married, I'm now a mom, and I love my life, I would say 97.9% .9 of the time, okay? So remember, you have the power, you have all of the power and all of the tools within you. You have everything that you need to do this. It just takes persistence and focus, staying the course, and really being done with that old version of you stepping in right now today into being the version of you that's already loved, already adored. You love you, you choose you, everyone else does too. And I think that rhymes, okay. So go out, like I always say, make today awesome, put yourself first, do things today that make you happy. Check in with yourself today and ask yourself, what do I need right now? What is going to make me thrive today? I am determined to feel good today, have a great day, have some fun, have some laugh, laughs, have some smiles. Um, plan some things for myself that are amazing and wonderful, embrace some new hobbies, you guys, like why not? Like let's get back into the fun of manifesting. Um, let's get back into the fun of this, that this is your reality, this is all your creation. I will leave you with that and I will see you in my next video. Have an awesome day, guys, bye.